All right, we're going to do, let's see. Twenty. Yeah, it's just for me anyway. It's a lot of painting and waiting, gluing and screwing. Nineteen. I want 38 too, which is right here. But first, this. No, we don't need these right now. I'm not even going to cut these off right now. I'll put them here. First, we're going to mask this. Paint it and paint it flat steel. Uh, no, flat aluminum. I'm just gonna watch this. <clears throat> I am such horrendous at masking. That's all I have to say is how terrible I am at it. And it goes kind of well. That's how it works. If you say how fantastic you are at it, it's just going to go horribly. I tore that off because that was going to hang over. Another piece. Try, to try not to do it. Bigger. Here we are masking because then we have to fuss with. What are we going to do with the overhang? Tear it like I just did. Look at this. I can't even get it. On point. There we go. Well, you know what? Who noticed what I was doing? What was I doing wrong? I can't guess, I'll show you in a minute. Come on. You guys can get it. It's masking the wrong way. It's masking the wrong thing. I want to paint <clears throat> the gas can, the gas tank. You can't paint it if I mask if I put tape all over it. Doesn't have a lip. It does have a little one. Let's see if this helps. <clears throat> Constantly spinning it around, you know, makes it easier. All right, we're gonna go from this angle here.
I have the smartest tool to use to do this. I have tweezers which be smarter. I don't have any <clears throat> real chance of uh, scratching my paint. Down a little bit. Ugh. What the hey? Uh, those ones. Not these ones. in the first place. See how much that was? How easier that was? Using the proper tool for the proper application makes things go easier. Do some modeling, masking tape. Just like common masking tape, except it's thinner, it's not so wide. Yeah, I don't want to spend any more money than I have to. Not the richest dude in the world. A little patience. We can persevere. <clears throat> okay. the right word. A little tape on the part that wants to be painted. All places that you overlap, knife might not be a good idea. It's kind of in the corner, so I don't mind too much. <clears throat> That was good. I'm just going to cut a thinner strip. Get my knife to work. Stick that there for later.
that one went on quick and easy. Sometimes it is easier to just cover the whole thing with masking tape and then cut all the way around it. And you know everything, look at that, that's beautiful. So do you have any suggestions, mockery, I have thick skin, I can take it. Was they're so good. You can fast forward past this part if you want. <laughs> I'm not going to look up the time when it ends. I'll leave that up to you to search for. Alright, two more little corners. Not perfected masking corners. I do find this does okay. Sometimes the masking tape just doesn't want to stick. And I'll move this piece over here for later. Tweezers when you need the tweezers. Okay. Great. Now I feel comfortable. I can't run out of space yet. All right, here we go. Flat steel here. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> I 
I've got a grander space to paint. So I'm going to use that one. It's not the largest, it's not the smallest. I do want a little control. Remember, you can always go over it again. Come on, I can't. There you go. Just move the bottle closer so I can see where the brush is in retrospect to where the paint is. We have masking tape there, but you still don't want to. Like, oh, I have masking tape. I'm just going to load on the paint. No, because it can still slip through. And you'll be upset. Which I'll probably even still have something go through a little bit. I smooth it out after. Making sure I don't have any runs or anything that I need to brush away. There you go. Okay, I'm going to put that there. Off. You know what? <clears throat> hmm. I want us to paint both of these glass black. I think I'm going to paint this semi gloss. This, I believe I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint that steel. Rules are meant to be broken. If you paint it a different color, I don't think the color police are going to come. Though who knows? These days, who knows? Have the cancel police come after you? The Oh no, please come after you. Why can't we all just get along? Used to, you know, used to get along a little better. Of course, nobody agrees with everybody all the time. Or disagreements, but not like, not like now. Take it so personally. And take things so personally. I mean, you don't want to reach the end of your days and be like, man, I lived such a miserable life. That was awesome. Sorry, I didn't come on and I burped to preach. I just got to thinking. I get to thinking sometimes, you know. This is a very flimsy piece, so I want to I don't want to 
cut too much or sand too much because I don't want it to break on me. So that was my spiel. I'm sticking with it. Yeah, there's all kinds of all kinds of flare in there. And then we got it here. Got some here. We got some masking tape on my finger right there. Tires, we gotta trim it a little bit. We expected to put a tire on that, so I don't know about any of you if anybody in this room that models, but I don't know if you have any problem that as you put all this stuff on and then slide the tires onto it after after this is already glued onto the body I mean the chassis then I always have a problem with it popping off when I put the tires on I have to reset it anyway I suppose it wouldn't kill me to late to later because Apparently, you can put it on after because like it pops off and I'm like, oh crap, I can't put it back on. There we go. And this does have a little lip on it. Anyway. The tire to snap on. These are both so <clears throat> supposed to. You'll snap the tire on there. And the same thing on the back and <clears throat> have tires that roll, but I don't really care about that. I'm not gonna play with it. I tend to just glue mine on solid. I don't know if there's anybody out there that builds a model and then plays with it. Rolls it along the floor. They're pretty fragile. Let me know if you like to push your models over the floor once you're done. Okay, there we go. Let me clean my brush. It's almost to refill. Almost time to refill with thinner. There we go. Where's my cat? See, there he is again. Sometimes he tends to be a pain in the butt. He wants attention a lot. All right, got another alligator clip. I'll clip it there. That's a good spot where it's not going to be so it's two very little I think you clip onto that one nope onto that one it's precarious it's precarious per precarious oh there I forgot I left that on so I can clip onto that Alrighty then, let's start with our semi. Alrighty then, shake it up. Alright. I'll take that. 
same brush I just put in there. It's called not thinking it through. All right. There are little things in here that I will paint a different color after. You'll find out about black, it doesn't really cover that well. You can keep your strokes going in the same direction. Covers a little better. I'm going to go in the jar now. See if you have it close enough, you can see when the brush hits. Well, then the danger is you're going to bump it and spill it all over the place. There's actually another YouTuber that has a little video about a little box he built. Put his paints in when he's using them so they don't spill. I am not very mechanically inclined. I can do this. <clears throat> Everything's already cut for me. I worked in kitchens. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Pardon me. I don't have COVID. Um, my life was spent in restaurants. <clears throat> Man, cooking. So, a laborer, I am not. I try to paint like really everything that's going to be visible, even if you don't think it's going to be like this. I'll paint into it a little bit. On the bottom, <laughs> hey bud. He needs pets. I'm going to finish painting these two pieces. I'll call that part one. Get it loaded and then... Oh, I think I had a little more down there than I thought. Let's clean it up. Just use that for my paint can for a minute or two. I'm gonna let you know sometimes area is gonna start drying that you might be tempted to touch up. <clears throat> Don't do it. Once it starts drying, then you're just going to drag and pull up. 
mess up the paint. You'll be able to see where you did it. See as I do it right there, see? Well, it's going to show up now, that line. Okay, I'm not perfect. Mm-hmm. I just want to paint this. I'm not going to paint into there. I'm not going to paint into there. Obviously, there's going to be gluing going on there. So I stopped painting my body and interior way before I have to use them, especially the body, because, because why? Well, because I don't want to be waiting three days, two days. Because I haven't painted anything I needed yet. That's kind of why. Okay, I'm almost done with this piece here. Probably painted over some parts that I shouldn't have. You know what? But I can take the paint off just like I do with the chrome. And tap those spots. All right, into the dryer that goes. Into the thinner that goes. Part of me. Just gonna do this. <clears throat> then let everything dry. Glue set nice and good. Curious to see how that double added alligator clip one. Holds, pretty sure it's not going to. Sure it'll be glued, but I don't think that those pieces are going to be together as they should. I believe those pieces are going to separate again. You know, I was thinking I don't need filler until, until I need filler. You know, future models, you got to watch me learn how to make it as realistic under the hood as I can. I see people out there actually 
run wires under the hood. So like the distributor caps hooked up the battery cables are there. So that should be fun. Kind of anxious, kind of excited to do that. I'm not painting those long pegs because those are obviously going to be glued into the chassis and trying not to get too much paint on the little pegs underneath either because those will also be glued onto something. If you're not sure if something's going to be glued onto something or not, just look ahead. On the instructions because you'll see whoops I was done but I didn't do this little guy right here all right that I saw a spot I did all right that's gonna be it for now, 